Here is today's prayer. Dear Lord God, Today I lift up those who are lacking a home to shelter them. I pray for those who find themselves displaced and alone. Help me to live a life that is worthy of what you have called me to, to love and to serve others in your name. Please reveal to me the needs that you have equipped me to meet. Help me to love people as you love them. You clothed yourself in humanity. You knelt on the floor and washed away the grime and filth with tenderness and grace. You proclaim freedom for the captives, sight for the blind, and adoption for the orphaned. You seek out the marginalized and you welcome the stranger. You pursue those who are thought to be too far gone. Let me die to myself so that your Holy Spirit may live in me. Philippians 1 verse 21. Please help me to love mercy, do justly, and walk humbly with you, my God. Micah 6 verse 8. You are more wonderful than my words can describe. Thank you for sending your only son Jesus, not to condemn me, but to save me and to show me how to love. John 3 verses 16 to 17. In the wonderful name of Jesus I pray. Amen. Jesus, wonderful. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name will be called Wonderful. Isaiah 9 verse 6. Jesus is called Wonderful a noun in the Hebrew language that Isaiah used as his name. Throughout the scriptures, the word wonderful is used to describe miracles. It's a word that suggests the supernatural. Jesus is called wonderful, the source of miracles. All supernatural expressions come from him. Jesus is called wonderful, describing the mysterious or secretive attributes of God. Jesus has all the attributes of God, both those seen and unseen. His name, wonderful, expresses those things about God that we don't know. His name, Wonderful, reflects his incomprehensible nature. Jesus is so wonderful, we have difficulty finding words to express it. Jesus also has a name written that no one knows but him, Revelation 19 verse 12. It's a wonderful name. Lord, I praise you for your wonderful nature, and I stand in awe of the wonderful things you do for me. Lord, when I don't know what to say in prayer, I simply worship in your wonderful presence. Lord, I call you wonderful because of all I know about you in scriptures and I worship you for all the wonderful things you have done for me. Amen. Go deeper. Colossians 1 verses 16 to 20. Jesus is too wonderful to describe. Tomorrow, the Trinity, the God of the beginning, Elohi Kingdom.